Welcome to the lesson on Education Implementation Teams. In this video, we'll learn about teams formed for cardiac arrest events and the alert criteria they follow for cardiac arrest care. Only about 20% of the individuals who have a cardiac arrest inside a hospital will survive. This statistic prompted the development of a cardiac arrest system of care. Four out of five individuals with cardiopulmonary arrest have changes in vital signs prior to the arrest. Therefore, most individuals who eventually have a cardiac arrest showed signs of impending cardiac arrest. Survival rate could be improved if individuals are identified and treated with ACLS protocols sooner. Originally, specialized groups of responders within a hospital, called cardiac arrest teams, attended to a patient with recognized cardiac arrest. These teams responded to a code blue after someone presumably recognized an active cardiac arrest and sought help. Many believed cardiac arrest teams would improve survival rates but the results were disappointing. Studies show that survival rates were the same in hospitals with cardiac arrest teams as in those without a team. As a result, hospitals are replacing cardiac arrest teams with rapid response teams, or RRTs, or medical emergency teams, or METs. Rather than waiting for loss of consciousness and full cardiopulmonary arrest, RRTs and METs closely monitor patients in order to treat them before the cardiac arrest occurs. These teams combine the efforts of nurses, physicians, and family members to detect an impending cardiac arrest. When hospitals implement RRTs or METs, there are fewer cardiac arrests, fewer ICU transfers, improved survival rates, and shorter lengths of inpatient stay. The alert criteria for RRTs and METs include threatened airway or labored breathing, altered mental status, bradycardia, that is fewer than 40 beats per minute, or tachycardia, that is more than 100 beats per minute, seizure, hypotension, or symptomatic hypertension, and sudden and large decrease in urine output. This concludes our lesson on education, implementation, and teams. Next, we'll review respiratory arrest.